The UN's refugee agency is begging Israel to reconsider its plan to either deport or jail thousands of African asylum seekers in the country. But the government seems committed to moving forward. Netanyahu's government is now offering $9,000 to Israeli citizens who will help remove African asylum seekers for deportation, even by force if necessary. The government maintains this community does not qualify for refugee rights, calling them illegal infiltrators. The vast majority, however, come from Eritrea and South Sudan and say they fled war, genocide and life terms in a slave army, which is why they're seeking safety in Israel. The government's new plan means those who do not voluntarily leave by April will be forced to choose between deportation to a third unspecified country in Africa or else be imprisoned indefinitely. Most said they had been transferred from Israel to a country in Africa and provided with a lump sum of 3,500 US dollars. Some said that people traveling with them had died en route to Libya, where many experienced extortion and detention, as well as being subjected to abuse, including torture and violence. Netanyahu's government seems undeterred in its mission to begin deportations in a few short months. Israel will now pay Israeli volunteers to physically lend a hand with the deportations. But this, on top of the expected costs for prisons and flights for deportees, has led some to question if the money couldn't be better spent helping this community succeed in Israel, a country where nearly 40,000 African men, women and children have lived for nearly a decade. From our point of view, uh, we feel that uh, uh, Israel should be uh, w uh, trying to find solutions for uh, this population, which is quite uh, sizable, and that uh, in uh, Europe, uh, at least in the case of Eritreans, has a very high recognition rate. So we would expect among them, many of them uh, would qualify for refugee status. So what we would uh, like to see in Israel is um, more, uh, and we are willing to, to help in that uh, respect, is to find um, legal uh, alternatives for these uh, people through resettlement in, in other countries. To that point, Israel's pro-cycling team has actually just signed an Eritrean refugee to represent Israel in the 2018 Giro d'Italia. Some have pointed out the bitter irony that the racer, 25-year-old Awet Gebremedin, currently has refugee status in Sweden, which allows him to race for Israel. But if he lived here in Israel, he'd be first in line for deportation or jail this April.